actually engrave on a domed surface. Well, depending on what you mean by domed, because I've had people call in and actually say domed is conve concave, convex, they're unfamiliar with those terms. So the easiest way to show you that is with a picture. So let's say that you had an object that looks like this, or you have an object that actually comes down. So you have something that looks like this. All right, so the very first one, right, with an IS-400, it's actually really easy to engrave on this. Now, depending on what cutter you're using and the depth that you have it outside of your micrometer, your nose cone, whatever you may be using, what you're gonna do is you wanna set your Z at the lowest point, and you wanna have a lot of spring tension. Go ahead and you can zoom in down here, Jeff. This right here tells you how much tension you're gonna use. You don't want a lot, because the spindle will actually jam up and mess up if it's too much. So you can loosen this a little bit, but not a lot. And that's really what's going to determine how the size of your actual dome. So let's say that you want to go from here to here with your engraving. So you're just basically going down a little bit, you know, on the actual dome itself. You're going to go ahead and set your Z right here. And as this engraves, that spindle is going to keep pushing up and up and up and giving you that tension. So you're going to be able to engrave the entire way. Now it works for the same way down here. You want to set the Z at the lowest point, and as it starts to engrave, the spindle is going to move up with its tension. It doesn't work the other way around. If you set your Z over here, what happens is the spindle will bottom out. It will not engrave correctly when it gets down to the lower point. So you always want your Z at the lowest point, and then as it moves up again, it's going to give you some tension, and it's going to be able to still engrave. So you're gonna, it's important to have an actual nose cone on there. That way, the only thing that's changing is the spindle. You do not want to change on your engraving because you want the engraving to be uniform. So that's actually how you set it on a dome surface. You pick the lowest point, and that's where you set your Z. And that's it for that question. I have one thing to add to that question, though. There is a limit to this dome right here because this thing is only so wide. If this hits the sides, if this hits the sides, you're going to have trouble. It, it won't do it. it. It's going to break something. It'll break what you're trying to engrave, most likely. So, it might be a good idea to call in with those two, or just make sure you have clearance on your spindle when you're doing the engraving. <laughs>